you could choose one all-time athlete from any sport to compete in modern day jiu-jitsu, so instead of choosing like whatever athletic route they chose to go in, that they could would rewrite history and choose to go into jiu-jitsu today, say they've done 10 years, they're a black belt right now, who would it be? I feel like the sports you would want to think of isn't like a basketball, but you, it's definitely like football's taken into consideration. I should have Tiger Woods. <laughs> I would love to see Tiger Woods literally from birth be learning jujitsu. And then, when he reached the top of the sport, had the exact same affair. But at the same time, with someone like Michael Jordan, who's like 6'5 and has the greatest mentality of Shaquille O'Neal. Dude, Shaquille see, that was a in that's something up to, Have you seen the video of him rolling? Mm -mm. Does go he actually do jiu -jitsu? Yeah, yeah. Go on YouTube, look up Forrest Griffin rolls with Shaquille O'Neal. Does he win? Shaquille O'Neal? I think they're both doing a flow roll of sorts, but Forrest taps him out. Okay. Forrest is also the former light heavyweight champion of the world, so Forrest is a solid 240. Right. And right. a fucking beast. Yeah, I don't know if I could roll Shaquille O'Neal if he really wanted it. If, if he really wanted it, you know what I mean? I think that's a yeah, that, that's somebody who could be so scary if well, he really wanted it. The to. other thing about that, though, is... But his, he's so exposed in so many ways. Yeah, I, I was mean, going to say, too, that, if he's, like, have a big tree trunk limbs, you know what I mean? But here's the thing. If he was training since he was a child, he wouldn't be exposed like that. Yeah. He wouldn't be modern day Shaquille O'Neal. He would be an actual, like, jujitsu demon. He would probably look a little bit different. He would, he would absolutely be... I mean, look at Haseem Rita. He's a fucking monster. Dude. Imagine imagine and Mikey Musumeshi versus Shaquille O'Neal. Absolute division. Now this Who, you got? Sure Who you got? Who you got? So, Shaquille... No, this is... So, we got two. We got modern day Shaquille O'Neal, and then we got Shaquille O'Neal, who's been training for seven years and is a purple belt, versus oh, Mikey Musumeshi. Mikey Mushimashi. Oh, <laughs> I shouldn't ask you that. He would you kill hate Mikey. Mikey Mushimashi. I don't know, man. He would kill him. I think if I had to choose one athlete. Who, okay, so who would you put to represent Jiu-Jitsu against Shaquille O'Neal? Let's say... Okay, hang on. We're going to raise okay. the stakes. Okay. Hang on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set the scene for you. So, both Shaquille O'Neal and your chosen champion of choice receive a letter in the middle of the night. They open the letter and it says, We've kidnapped seven members of your family. Oh boy. And unless you win this jiu-jitsu match, you're never gonna see them again. Oh. These are the stakes. Modern day Shaquille O'Neal versus your champion of choice. No one else is in the room. It's a cage just like so this. I choose a Doors model. locked. So it's somebody in jiu-jitsu today. There is a referee. So that means if they get disqualified, it still counts. So they have to play by the rules. This isn't like so a death they're match. rolling against Shaquille O'Neal to be fair. It's Shaquille O'Neal versus whoever you go against in a no time limit. Uh, let's just say the championship of ADCC, so like 40 minutes or whatever. It's Gordon Ryan, easy enough. Versus Shaquille O'Neal. Gordon Ryan would kill it. He's a yeah, heavyweight, and yeah, he's the okay. greatest grappler of all time. All right, That's all an right. e easy match. Okay, fine. Someone who is under 190 pounds. Micah Galvao. Micah Galvao? You Micah know what? Galvao I would give it to him, too. It's such a monster. Okay, so now here's, here's the problem, because now I'm just imagining modern day Shaquille O'Neal and all his flapping mistakes. But let's say Shaquille O'Neal has a purple belt. Yeah. You think... But purple belt since birth. You know what I mean? Like a heavy purple belt. Not yeah, like some guy who's like... Brazilian motherfucker. Yes, absolutely. I'm still... Mike Galvao, I don't see anybody under 190 pounds in the world who's really better than him. Unless Craig Jones might be the only other person I would put against him. Because Craig Jones is light. And Craig Jones is a fucking monster. And Craig Jones would guillotine him probably. Or do some stupid and clown him and make a t-shirt out of him. So actually, Craig Jones is my pick. Craig Jones.